This is a base Neo request deck coming from Buzz Saiyan, who was curious about how Blaine's and Ninetales held up in the base Neo format. In Prop 15, it was valued because it had a high damage energy ratio, a built in healing power to assist with its relatively low HP, and a lot of help from the Blaine Trainer card. All things that carry over into base Neo. But Base Neo is a different beast as far as the metagame goes. It's a lot more huge, bulky, tanky Pokemon to deal with. So while that 50 damage on turn 2 is very useful, you're still going up against high HP Pokemon like Chansey for Alligator Steelix. Even with Steelix Fire Weakness, you still have Goldberry to have to worry about. You have to work around the added hassle of baby Pokemon. Is it really worth using Burn Up on a baby Pokemon and risk discarding those two energy? Clearly, Blaine's Ninetales has a lot more weaknesses when you transfer it over into the base Neo format. So, we need something to help cover those bases. Something to help deal with those high HP tanky Pokemon that aren't going to be threatened by a 50 damage attack. That is where Clefable comes in. Another low energy attacker, so you're not really having to worry about energy removals messing up your scheme too much. Its metronome attack can effectively counter some big energy, big damage attacks like Rocket Zapdos, Steelix, Chansey, even the Swine deck I did last week people brought up. Yeah, this is a great counter for Chansey, but it's going to get fucked over by Clefable for sure. With metronome, you're only replicating damage. It doesn't matter what the energy cost is what the side effects of the attack are, you're only copying damage. So Clefable is a perfect pair for Blaine's Ninetales because it covers all of those decks that are built around withstanding the fast, hard-hitting damage and really just wants to outlast. But when it comes to Clefable, you're having to outlast your own attacks. So in the case of a Chansey or a Pile of Swine deck that has a lot of healing built into it, you can maybe withstand a 50 damage attack that's coming off of two energy costs, but with a metronome, you're having to deal with your own big attacks off of only one energy. So with a theory behind the deck out of the way, let's get into what the actual deck list looks like. Since this is meant to be more of a rogue speed deck, we're not gonna be using Cleffa. It's gonna be weird having Clefairy and Clefable in a deck, but no Cleffa, but you're focusing on speed here. You really are wanting to deal as much damage as you possibly can as early as possible. For the Blaine's Vulpix, I like to use this one just because it's got a little more HP. You're not really going to be attacking with it all that much. We have talked about Blaine's Ninetales already in the intro. The card itself is pretty straightforward. You just want to get those two fire energy down onto Ninetales that way on turn two. When you evolve up, you can go ahead and start using Burn Up. And with Burn Up, it's not a guarantee you have to discard those energy, so you may not even have to worry about the recharge. You can just go straight for another 50 damage next turn without having to recycle any energy. And then we've got Clefairy, which is a bit of a risk here because of the 50 HP. If you use the Neo Clefairy, it's got 50, so it's a little safer, but I mainly just chucked it in here because it was pretty. And because in play testing, I didn't run into a lot of scenarios where on turn one or turn two, people were gusting out a Clefairy to attack. That's something that this deck would do, but not necessarily something to be afraid of from most other base Neo decks. Clefable, of course, to help deal with those slower, bulkier decks. One copy of Elekid to help deal with those off turns where you may have to recharge, or if there's not an attack on the field worth metronoming. Tyrogue to help scare away babies in case you don't want to waste a burn up on a coin flip, or even to threaten some big chunks of damage on an opposing Clefable. And then also a one-off of Ditto just as a little more coverage for stuff like an Electabuzz or a Magmar where you're still only going to need one energy to kind of fight back against them. But Ditto's ability to turn any energy into essentially a rainbow energy is really helpful in just diversifying your one or two energy coverage. That way the deck kind of has an answer for everything. Full play set of Blaine so that you can recharge nine tails burn up attack every time you do flip tails and have to discard those two energy. That way next turn you can just burn up again. Gust of Wind or Double Gust can be used here but I have a full play set of Gust 
just for baby Pokemon because I don't want to be wasting burn ups on babies. I want to get to those low HP basic Pokemon that are hitting the bench every time I can, like a Totodile. But also, if there is a, a Chansey on the bench, I still want that out in the open. I want it to be vulnerable for a couple turns so that I can start stacking burn ups or get a Clefable out there. Three copies of Focus Band because Blaine's Nine Tails does have relatively low HP. But also, if you run into a Muck deck, you're not going to be able to heal any energy off of Blaine's Nine Tails like normal. And that Ditto is going to turn into a useless nothing. So Focus Band is going to be a backup for those Pokemon. A couple copies of Computer Search just to get what you need more quickly. A couple copies of Item Finder so that you can recycle them a little better. And then a 2-2 setup of Oak and Elm. These are a little more interchangeable depending on the needs of your playstyle. Elm is more of a clef or replacement in this deck, but Oak can be just as fast when it comes to getting the cards you need into your hand quickly. Three copies of Super Energy Removal because this is a low energy deck, you have the luxury of using Super Energy Removal to just kick off one of the one energy you have attached to one of your Pokemon like Clefable and just reattaching it next turn with no problem. And it is better to use them sooner rather than later just in case you get hit with a lass. Two copies of Nightly Garbage Run to help recycle those discarded fire energy as well as recycling some Pokemon. With the help of Super Energy Retrieval, one copy of that for emergency situations, and then we're going to be using a full playset of Energy Stadium because it's going to be helpful. You want to keep those fire energy in your hand so that when you need to use Blaine to recharge a Nine Tails, you have the energy already in your hand, ready to go, ready to attach. So the back end of this deck is very energy focused. The Pokemon base is more about coverage options across as many matchups as possible while the trainer base is more about energy. Getting the energy in your hand when you need it, recharging the nine tails when you need it, getting the right single energy onto a Clefable or onto a Ditto or onto the Tyrogue. And to help with that, we've got four recycle energy so that you can kind of utilize those with the super energy removal, but also just in case your Clefables are getting knocked out. The recycle energies are just gonna come back. Finishing up the rest of the deck with 12 fire energy, which is plenty for this type of efficient deck. If you do find yourself leaning into the coverage aspect of the deck more than just the raw damage from Blaine's Nine Tails, it may be worth including double colorless energy. That way Ditto can pull off some bigger attacks. A double colorless attached to a Ditto is going to act as a double rainbow, so it's going to help you counter opponent's cards like a Blaine's Nine Tails. That way you can technically use Burn Up before they can. Though at that point I would argue that you just use a Clefable Ditto coverage deck instead of making it a Blaine's Nine Tails deck. As far as matchups go, in playtesting it did decently well against a lot of the big archetypes like Chansey, Steelix. It especially puts a lot of pressure on Steelix even though Goldberry does give it a little bit of trouble. For alligator decks are rough not only because Ninetales has a weakness, but also when Clefable's cough being a Riptide attack, it's not doing a whole lot. Because this is a speedy rogue deck meant to have a lot of different coverage options, you do need to have a lot of skill, a lot of knowledge of the metagame to know exactly what it is that you're up against so that you can actively play against it and prepare for your opponent's next turn a couple turns ahead of them. So thanks to Buzz Saiyan for bringing up Blaine's Nine Tails as it is a very fast, efficient, fire type card that's gonna run even smoother than a Blaine's Magmar or a Typhlosion deck, even your Entei decks because then you're not relying on another Pokemon's ability to help support the main attacker. The main attacker's fine on its own. You just have a little bit of backup from a trainer card. So if any of you guys out there have any different options, any additions or alterations you would make to how I present to Blaine's Nine Tails, let me know how you would run it in Base Neo. And keep the request decks coming. I'm always jumping back and forth between formats, play testing different types of decks for videos. So, I'm always open to your guys' ideas or decks that you enjoy running. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.